Hello folks, Joel to another Lego creation, and today we'll be looking at a set made using all the parts from Lego Minecraft, the dungeon, and the Mushroom Island. I'm calling this the Adventure Tower. Now the main thing I wanted to do with this was to have a tiered playground of sorts. Up top you have a mushroom house with a little garden on water, so just imagine this is out in the middle of the ocean. Below that we have, essentially imagine a tunnel going down to dig a hole below the surface of the water. So here we have a sand dune that's being dug through. Most of the water has been cleared out and is safe to move around. And on the bottom we have an actual stone dungeon, complete with zombie trap, cool mushrooms, some lava, and a mushroom farm. Alex and her boat. I don't have a good place like, on the Legos to actually store the boat, unfortunately. See, so, yeah, a bit, uh, it's all disappointing there. And here we get a look of the other side, where we have a kind of a waterfall acting as the main source of transportation up and down. You can fall down the water or swim back up. I also have a little block of, I guess, mushroom. I wasn't really sure where else to put that. And you probably see a little better now, but there's a little action feature here for the creeper. Now the real fun part here is, these are all layered, as in, I can pull each layer off and just set it aside. Some a little better than others. This one I have to take that off, put it like that. And this one will just always be crooked. So let's go ahead and look at each one of these individually. All right, so starting off we have Alex in the mushroom hut. The hut again has a little garden here. You have some, let's say wheat, possibly carrots, sugar cane, and a cactus. Mushroom house itself is dug up, I'm guessing with an enchanted silk touch pickaxe, and can actually also pop off like so, so you can see the middle of it, or so you can see the inside of it, which is kind of bare. I'm going to say this little blue tile here is going to be the entryway into that waterfall, which this is always going to be tilted, I have no way of fixing that. So the idea here is that Alex will kind of survey around using the boat there, get things get to and from the mainland a lot quicker. Up next we have the sandbar, which is probably the simplest part of this entire set. This is where you have the crafting bench. You have one torch because I don't have a pumpkin for a jack-o'-lantern. Yeah, yeah, you just have that one piece of water that will fall down to complete the waterfall. But for the most part, this is just to be the kind of safe zone. Something where the zombies can't get to you. Like there's not going to be any monsters spawning there. So you have a safe place to just relax, heal, catch your breath, and do some crafting. And Steve here just made his new pickaxe. And last but not least, we have the dungeon. By far the biggest and most detail part of this set. You have some zombies back here with a zombie spawner, a little area that's being used for digging, a little piece of gold or this little wall, two mushrooms, some lava, a mossy fence. That I don't think that's in the game, but you know what? It's here. And you have the adult and baby mushrooms in this little broken up pen. And finally, you have a creeper on a little lever, which I am going to go ahead and use it. Because I actually have not tested this.
Okay, let's try it one more time with Creeper off. That's better. So, yeah. You had a stash of food and supplies in this chest. And a creeper came along and blew it up. Now over here, you have yeah, this part right here, this section with the mon with the this section with the zombie spawner. I started with this part because I really wanted that gimmick to stay in there. So both the zombies are in this little cave here. And the idea here is you have a row of blocks that are mineable. So just going to take this piece off, one block down, got your gold ore, and then another block, just to try and find more, and that's when the zombies attack. I thought it might just have a little trap in there. And so that is my creation, the Minecraft Adventure Tower. I like how this one turned out. Uh, some parts, yeah, could have been a, a bit better. But I would do like a my word. But I do like how I was able to get the this overall gimmick in. Didn't snap together too well, but at least it comes apart when I needed to. That is, it may be a bit. Now, for the most part, I basically started with this corner, like I said before. Then I worked on the mushroom hut, got the rest of all of this started off, and then I got the middle section there. So you can kind of tell where all my priorities were with this set. But overall, I like how this turned out. So thank you folks for watching. Hope you like this video. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more. And I'll see you folks next time.